Welcome to the Handed Down Kitchen, where we bring recipes out of the past and back into the kitchen. It's now firmly autumn, we've grown this lovely pumpkin and it's now time to use it. And today's recipe will be using two pounds of it in a 92 year old recipe for a dessert that neither of us had actually tried before, pumpkin pie. Perfect for all the celebrations occurring at this time of year. We found this recipe in our copy of our Best Way Cookery gift book, which was published in 1928. And the Best Way cookbooks were compilations of recipes that had been published in the magazines Woman's World, The Home Companion and Family Journal in the first half of the 20th century. They were meant to show the best way possible to make these dishes. So to make this pumpkin pie, you will need the following ingredients. Starting with the pastry, you will need 226 grams of plain flour, 170 grams of butter, one egg yolk, one teaspoonful of caster sugar, a pinch of salt, and two teaspoonfuls of water. And for the filling you'll need two pounds or 908 grams of pumpkin, two eggs, half a teaspoonful of ground ginger, a pinch of cinnamon, 57 grams of dark brown sugar, 57 grams of caster sugar, 28 grams of butter, and one cupful of milk. First things first, we need to make one pound of rich short crust pastry. So start by sifting your flour and salt into a bowl. Then add in your butter and rub it into the flour lightly. The recipe says to just use the tips of your fingers and to keep on until it's as fine as breadcrumbs. And then add in your caster sugar. Take your egg yolk and combine it with the two teaspoonfuls of water. Mix the egg yolk into the rest of the dough lightly, and the instructions in this particular book make it very clear you should treat this pastry from start to finish very delicately, never press it or mix it too hard. Everything should only be done the once, very lightly and very gradually. And once the egg is all mixed in, bring your pastry together very gently with your hands. We're going to roll this out now and this pastry is very fragile so you want to make it as easy as possible to transfer it into your pie dish. So we've put down a layer of cling film on our countertop, we're flour coating this, the cling film is going to make it easier to flip the pastry into our pie dish once it's rolled out. The recipe doesn't tell you what size or sort of pie dish to use, but we do have a picture to use as reference. So what we've got here is a glass oval, medium sized pie dish. We thought it looked the same as the pie dish that's used in the cookbook picture. So we're just pressing the pastry into the dish and patching up any cracks or missing pieces as best we can. Then just trim around the edges and decorate them. And we've followed the decoration shown in the picture, which is just simple fork marks like this. And that's your pastry ready. And for the filling, take your two pounds of pumpkin and remove the seeds. And then we're gonna cut it into chunks and skin it. This is a bambino pumpkin. We don't know if there's a certain type of pumpkin that you're meant to use to make pumpkin pie, but this one worked very well. Instead of using fresh pumpkin, I'm sure you can use tinned pureed pumpkin. Just make sure you have two pounds or around 900 grams worth of it. Take your chunks of pumpkin and boil these over a low heat for about 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. 
Once they're tender like this, remove from the heat and strain away the water. We're now going to puree our pumpkin. You can either use a sieve, a blender, or a food mill like we're using, anything that's gonna get this pureed. Now we're going to mix in the butter and the dry ingredients. Start with the butter, mixing this in slowly. Your puree should still be warm, so it shouldn't take too long to melt in. Then add the sugar. The recipe just says to use four ounces of sugar, but doesn't say what sort, so we went with half white, half brown. Then add in the spices, so first the ginger, and then the cinnamon, and stir everything together to combine. In another bowl, beat up your two eggs. And then pour in the milk and just beat these together a bit. Pour the milk into your pumpkin mixture and stir this all together. And that is your pumpkin pie filling done. So pour this into your pie dish and bake in a preheated oven set to 180 degrees Celsius, which is 350 Fahrenheit or gas mark four, for about an hour or until set. You'll know it's ready when you insert a toothpick in the middle and it comes out clean. Once it's baked through, leave it to cool down completely before slicing up and serving. And there it is. If you're planning a 1920s themed party around this time of year, how about making a genuine 1928 pumpkin pie? We think it's even better the next day after spending the night in the fridge. We hope you enjoyed this video, if so please leave us a like, and if you'd like to see us recreate more old or antique recipes be sure to subscribe to our channel. You can also find full instructions for this recipe and many more on our website linked in the description box below.